Okay. That's the normal time we work nowadays. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Hagios, Jeshua, Caleb, um, Donnelly, Dania, Sky. Thank you so much for being here. I know there's so many kids right now maybe doing something else, but you decided to be here. It means that you put God first, priority in your schedule. Because Sunday is the Lord's Day. We should set aside Sunday to know God more, love God more, so that whatever we receive and learn, we can share it to others during the week and apply it. Okay, is that okay? Everybody say okay. Yes, being victorious. Oh okay. Yeah, thank you, Dania. Victorious over anxiety. Do you that know is what is... Huh? Do you know what is anxiety? And how do you get rid of it? I know anxiety. Okay, Hagios, can you lead right now? Um, the differentiation between anxiety and depression and during the... If you see the Venn diagram in the middle, okay. you can see what is common between anxiety and depression. Are you here, Hagios? Well, I mean, anxiety and depression are kind of two facets of like serious stuff. There are different ranges of depression and anxiety. Okay. Can you describe the symptoms of anxiety? The blue? Anxiety air? can kind of just be generalized as like feeling nervous or feeling like kind of like activating your flight or, uh, flight or fright response despite something not like super dangerous actually happening like, kind of like there are many different types of anxiety there's like social anxiety like a bit and stuff like that basically like something not to generalize it basically something not super dangerous is happening but your body still activates the flight or flight response okay yeah. uh can you see the red part depression part depression is a little it's a lot more different than anxiety. Depression involves like long periods of drawn out sadness, thoughts of suicide, uh, different changes in lifestyle, stuff like that. It's a lot more, I wouldn't say serious, but like it's a lot more different than anxiety is. Okay. Though they do have similar like effects on the human body. Actually, what I want you to do is just to read. But I, I know very well that you are aware of the differentiation between anxiety and depression. So in this Venn diagram, you can see at the... Is it left side or right side on your end? To me, it's right side. Um, there are quite similarities between anxiety and depression. When you say Venn diagram, this middle part where it intersects, that is the similarities between the two. No? That both anxiety and depression, you will feel restlessness, trouble in thinking, concentrating and decision making, excessive worrying. So both anxiety and depression, both do worry a lot that affects their daily living and unexplained physical complaints such as headache migraine like this frequent headache and stomach ache like you have painful uh, irritable bowel movement and agitation so what are the risk factors why people uh, go through anxiety and sometimes depression Maybe because they have this fear of failure. Do you have that, kids, young people? Do you fear when you fail? Example, you fail your exam. How do you have difficulty coping when you fail? I'm asking you, Daniel. Where is Ahia? Ahia, Dave, Dihia, JJ. We're here. We're here all on the same call. Yeah. Ah, you only use one Wi Fi. Okay. So, do you have fear of failure? If have you tried being like you failed? Yeah. 
how do you feel? Like, do you have difficulty uh, bouncing back? No, no, not really. So that's good. So these are some of the factor people felt like they are anxious that if prolonged anxiousness, it may lead to something else. Later on, we will discuss. So some people have fear of failure, but always remember it's just mindset. If you fail, it's okay. You just move up again. I mean, recover because everyone go through failure. Shensi Kati even failed two times in my CPA board exam, you know? And I also failed many times when I was not serious in my studies in during grade school years. I, I failed many times also. So failure is part of life. It's through failure that we also learn to appreciate things that what we should have done better so that we will not fail. Bad news. Some people keep on listening to bad news that may affect their emotion and may, if prolonged anxiety, can also affect their mental health. And some people go through financial difficulty. On your part, maybe you don't feel it because your parents provide for your needs. But someday, if you become a parent or when you go to work, when your parents will tell you, Oh, you're on your own, huh? You're independent na. Papa, mama will give, will uh, not support you anymore. <laughs> so what if you lose your job? So some people have difficulty coping that they feel anxious and it affects their state of, yeah, physical health as well because all these anxieties will have its health concerns. Shyness. Who is shy here? Who is afraid to speak in public? Or when you are asked by your teacher to report, who is afraid of that? I don't think, uh, I think for Caleb, you have no problem with that. You're very spontaneous, confident. That's very good at an early age. You are already confident, no? You can speak your mind. Hagios, Daniel. JJ, Jeshua, how are you with shyness? Sky, yes, you are raising your hands. Sky, can you on your video? Mm. So don't be shy, okay? When Shansi Kati asks you, uh, just enjoy it uh, and yeah. take it as a uh, learning yes. experience. Yes, Donna Lee, how are you with shyness? I don't think you are shy, no? Because in Wisdom Light, since preschool up to grade six, you are already exposed to a lot of extracurricular activity where you are asked to speak in on stage, dancing. That's why Wisdom Light really tried our best to train students holistically, like Hagios. Before, when Hagios started schooling in Wisdom Light, he even cannot speak in front on the stage. He just looked at the audience and did not speak anything until he gained his confidence and he started speaking. And then at age eight, he joined an international competition. No? So you overcome shyness. So if you are still not in that stage, you are still shy. Just take the courage. Shensi Kati also was very shy before. But when in church, I was asked to share something, what I have learned, my testimony. Then I developed that stage fright. Na I will not feel that way anymore. I developed the confidence to speak in public. And now I become a teacher. No? And some dramatic events. These dramatic events could be some accident or people intrude in your life that they did bad things to you that can that cause you some trauma. So these are some of the risk factors. So what are the treatment that people that, uh, do so they feel better? How do you feel better? If I may ask you, if you are sad, anxious, how do you feel better? I need you to answer. You unmute yourself. Get your mind yourself. off it. Reassure yourself that it's not that big of a deal. Stuff like that. Again, what's the first sentence you mentioned? 
uh, get your mind off it or reassure yourself that it's not that big of a deal. If it's something related to your performance, then just reassure yourself that you got it and you can do it. Okay. So you displace your focus from this one to something else and then you assure yourself that it's not something big. Okay. What else? Um, Caleb, how do you overcome like your grief? When you lost your dad, I'm sure you are sad, right? You're anxious. How do you comfort yourself? Well, I just forget about it and imagine that he's still alive. So you think of happy memories in the past that mm -hmm. when your father was still alive. That's nice. Because remember, our life here on earth is very brief, short. So... Whatever memories we have with our parents, with our loved one who have gone ahead of us. So let's remember those happy thoughts, mom, memories with them. Lauren, if you are sad, Lauren, what do you do to comfort yourself, to feel better? Anybody can answer, okay? I miss Chebar. Where is Chebar? Yeah. You want to answer, Lauren or Sky? You are shy? Don't be shy. It's okay lang. Oh, uh, Daniel, any of you three, four? <laughs> yes. So here are the suggestions. If you want to share, just share, okay? So you communicate. Whatever you're feeling inside, you communicate. And then, especially to your parents, to someone you trust, your aunt, ba, uncle, positive thinking. This is what Caleb is doing, no? She think positive thoughts about his dad, like Hagios, uh, comforting himself that it's not too bad after all. Psychotherapy. Psychotherapy is like you go for counseling to see a psychologist or psychiatrist, depend on the uh, level of anxiety you are going through. And then physical activity. Are you doing this to feel better? Do you exercise? Do you do some sp sports at home? Cherbar, please the go exercise. in. Huh? Yes. We miss you in the... Oh, no. Yeah. Hagios, I know you are dancing. And I hope if you have other means to exert your energy aside from dancing, singing, you can jump up and down. You do some exercise, work out together with your loved ones at home. Especially your parents, no? Please encourage them to exercise. Because sometimes parents are hooked in their work that they forgot to <laughs> exercise. So you, you remind each other because you love your parents to live longer, right? So meditation. Do you pray? Do you quiet yourself and Wait upon the Lord. Oh, no answer. Yeah. You can also do a reaction below your screen. There is reaction there that you can thumbs up, put a heart, put a clap. So do you meditate? Do you pray? Sometimes. We don't meditate. Sometimes. No. Yeah. Very important if you take time to really like when you wake up in the morning, do not rush. You just take time to close your eyes, kneel down, and just be quiet before the Lord. Shansi Kati does that. Kasi parang I cannot live a day without um, being in the presence of God. So as much as I want to do right away, get my cell phone and do my task for the day but when i wake up in the morning i make sure i kneel down and pray and meditate and then fix our bed i hope you do that if it's not yet in your routine or habit please do so wake up in the morning set aside first your cell phone you pray you meditate is that okay can you say yes, Shansi Kati? Yes, 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 yes,
Ha, you do it for the Lord. Actually, you're not doing it for me. It's good for your soul because we are body, soul, and spirit. Our soul and spirit need to connect to God, even our physical also. Everybody, everything about us, we are created by God. So we need to connect to our creator because if you are disconnected to him, you will not bear much fruit. You will not be productive. You cannot do anything like worthwhile that you can say, wow, I feel fulfilled. So may I ask you, did you accept Jesus already as your Lord and Savior? Can you say yes or no? If yes, yes. A thumbs up, yeah. Do you accept Jesus as your Lord and uh, as your shepherd? of your like the captain of your ship or life so i hope you can use this um verse in psalm 23 can you let's all read together hagios can you see ah wait ha i share my screen sometimes and see kati did not click the screen share so can you read Psalm 23? Everybody, you can unmute. The Lord is my the shepherd. Lord is my I, shepherd. Lack I lack nothing. He makes me, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for name's sake. For his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all, all the days of life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. You're a good reader, uh, Caleb. Who taught you how to read? School, your mom? I started okay. reading when I was one year old. Wow, how do you start reading when he was two years old? He asked me, Mama, please teach me how to read. So that's nice. Wait, huh? I need to. Yeah. So the Lord is my shepherd. When God is your shepherd, when you accepted him as Lord and Savior, he becomes your father, a shepherd, and you are the sheep. If God is your shepherd, you will not lack anything because God will take care of you. Whatever you are, whatever your needs, he will guide you in green pastures. He will make you uh, be comforted, be refreshed. He leads you in quiet waters and he will guide you in the right path no because if he is your shepherd god will not allow you to be to go astray if you go astray if he is your father he discipline you by your parents what if you commit mistake what your parents do he your parents if your parents truly loves you your parents will Discipline. Yes, very good. If your parent doesn't discipline, it means your parents questionable. He is not this this he's not obeying the Lord's command. That parents do not spare your rod. <laughs> of course, if you spare your rod, you spoil the child. So parents will guide you or your shepherd god will guide you to the right path even though you walk through the darkest valley you go through difficulty like loss of a loved one you failed in the exam or you go through some uh, misunderstanding with your loved ones or with your close friend or your best friend maybe you are so affected God walk through with you during the darkest valley until he will lead you in a safe pasture. Like he will comfort you by his, with using his rod. But the shepherd has a rod that looks like an, an, a cane. Right? So he used that to guide you. 
that he will also prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. He will provide for your needs, even in the midst of those people trying to attack you, to make your life miserable. There are people like that. They don't want you to be happy. Maybe they get jealous to you or envious at you. So, Or maybe their life is miserable. They also want you to be miserable. But God will make sure that you are okay. He will prepare a table before you and anoint you with oil. Imagine if God is your shepherd, he will bless you. And you, he, will, you, he will bless you to the point that your cup overflows, that you will be a channel of blessing to others. And that surely goodness and love will follow you all the days of your life. Do you know if Hesed is here? Hesed fell asleep. Maybe she was not able to sleep well last night the the surely goodness and love love that's where we get her name in hebrew old testament the original trans the original manuscript is in hebrew can you say the word hebrew say hebrew, hebrew. hebrew. so the translation of that this love if you go back the hebrew word is hesed or They pronounce it as Kesed, but it is spelled as H-E-S-E-D. Hesed means unconditional love of God. If God is your shepherd, surely God's unconditional love will follow us all the days of our life until we grow old, when you become an adult, when you go to work. Never will He leave you nor forsake you. Can you say that? God will never leave me wait nobody's answering nobody's repeating god will never leave me god will never, never leave me, me nor, nor forsake, forsake, me. forsake me yeah so i uh, god said i will never leave you nor forsake you no so that's god's promise when he is our shepherd God will take care of you. There's a song. God will take care of you. No? Oh, I forgot the, the lyrics. Um, kids, I want you to really learn Christian song. Because Christian song is way, way comforting, encouraging, and uplifting, and refreshing. Because if you always sing worldly song, parang it's really just... But the beat, the rhythm, the, the moves, the tone, only like that. There's no much value. But if you sing Christian song, it's very uh, encouraging. So I hope you invest time to, to learn songs and memorize Christian songs. Okay? So do you learn something today? You still want more? Can I hear you say more? <laughs> More. more okay so don't forget to memorize psalm 23 do you know what is the cause why people get anxious some people because of health issues they have blood sugar roller coaster if you know like your uncle ama or your parents may have diabetes or have problem with high and low sugar they easily get tired increased thirst they have blurry vision frequent urination this can also be a cause of anxiety or people who likes to keep on drinking coffee too much caffeine or a person who is like easily sensitive to caffeine when they take it they easily get cannot fall asleep Shansikati actually is like that or if somebody who lacks sleep all that time prolong uh, continuous like they lack sleep how should how should how many hours should you sleep in a day how long do you sleep eight 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 very good so at least no eight hours but Shansi Kati, sometimes you need to pray for Shansi Kati because Shansi Kati, sometimes six hours, <laughs> no five hours. So may God help Shansi Kati also to be disciplined that I will not be sleep deprived because that's one 
of the causes also of having some anxiety problem later on. So constant stressful situation. You have so many things to, to do. You're working. That's why you need to help your parents. If you know your parents are already so busy in their business, in their work, you have to help them like in the household chores you will not give them a headache like when they ask you something you obey you don't give them added stress <laughs> okay so that your parents will not have anxiety problem is that good is that a yes do you agree yeah if your parents wants you like oh no more gadget two hours before bedtime <laughs> Detox na. Will you say yes, Papa? Yes, Mama. Can you do that? If your parents make some rules, oh, every day, huh? You help in cleaning, setting up the table. Do you need to be reminded? No need. If your parents ask you already before, you know, ah, Mama wants me to clean up, fix my bed wants me to help in preparing for dinner or help wash dishes so please contribute kasi right now during pandemic of course some of us like Shansi Kati I don't have a helper I no one to help in the household chores so I do it by myself and I pray that Hagios and Hesed will automatic no? But Haggis is very good in cooking. Kasi si Kati is not so yummy when I cook. So Haggis become good chef. <laughs> so, and Haggis uh, help, has also helped me sometimes, but uh, not automatic. I have to keep on prompting. So I hope you help your parents. And parents help you also so that you will not have stressful situation. So, if you love your loved ones, you help each other to have a wonderful family environment at home that is not stressful. And some of the causes, causes of anxiety is hormonal imbalance, gut dysfunction. Do you know what are these terms, Hagios? What is hormonal imbalance, thyroid problems, gut dysfunction? Do you learn that in your biology class? Or, we're not bi we weren't biology for science in grade 10 we were physics okay so maybe for just a short i know you know gut dysfunction is like you cannot have your body has problem in absorbing nutrients no chronic inflammation do you know every time you are very stressed it causes inflammation to your brain to your body system so that's why we need to learn how to balance life, not to be stressful. So food sensitivities. What are these food sensitivity means? Like you are picky with food like that. And then micronutrients deficiency. That's why you have to eat healthy food. Lessen sweet. If you are a sweet tooth, lessen your craving of cakes ice cream <laughs> like this um in moderation okay it's not that totally cannot oh, eat but muted. in moderation and then make sure you eat healthy food so shansi kati to be sure that my kids are okay in their nutrients so before they eat breakfast i make sure they take barley and they take sometimes asia like that so shansi kati try my best because sometimes in our food, we don't know if it's fresh, no? So, you know, survey shows many people are very anxious. In July 2021 survey, uh, people are feeling anxious, 47%, sad, angry, due to our current situation. And some people, because they're locked down, what they do? What they do because it's locked down and children are not allowed to go out, Hagios. This is very important. Science, social media is affecting your mental health. Can you please read? 
If you know that it's it not healthy. It distracts you from work. You use it to escape bad emotions. You are being okay. trolled or cyberbullied. Okay. You spend more time online than family and friends. Feelings of anxiety, depression, and loneliness are spiking. Yeah. Do you spend more time with gadget when you instead you take time also to be with your loved ones at home, like talking time, playing time, family time? So if it is, it means it's affecting you now. If you cannot let go of your gadget, even you go to CR, you need you bring your gadget wherever you go, no? So remember, too much exposure of blue light. Donna Lee, please read this. Too much exposure to blue light late at night through smartphones, tablets, and computers can disturb the wake and sleep cycle, leading to problems sleeping and daytime tiredness. Yeah, so that's why very important discipline that we have to apply is that you know you are sleeping at 10, 8, 10 p.m. So 9 o'clock, no more gadget so that it, not, it will not disturb your sleep patterns. Okay? So try that and based on statistic many people is struggling though some one out of four feel better they are flourishing but they are the resilient one but many one out of three are struggling um 61 percent are worried if their loved ones may may get covid it's not in your control, so no need to worry. God don't want us to worry. 44% feel worse in their mental health because they have their pre-existing already during this time of lockdown. And 56% are uncertain about their future. They don't know now what lies ahead. But we know as Christians, we know what will happen in the future. God is coming soon. He, God, in his word, we are taught that there will be rumors of war. There will be calamities, this uh, mga hurricane, mga typhoon, strong, the global warming, too cold, too hot, mga like that. So kids and adults will be more lovers of themselves. They will be not obedient to authority. So these are the things that will be happening in the future. That's why we need to be prepared and strong close intimate with the lord do you understand caleb everybody i know how many of you here you are just around 10 i know it's not an accident why you are inside god is preparing you in the last days to be a blessing to be faithful until the end do you understand can you say okay i will stay faithful obedient to love God and obey his command. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Yeah, only one. Amen. 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 So you have to be, this is serious, huh? We are living in the last days. You saw already the red moon. Mga, these are the signs, but we don't look at the signs because God said, um, uh, I will come like a thief in the night. Nobody knows, but be prepared, okay? So in the during this pandemic, many young people, teenagers, like teenagers, 13 years old and above, 13 to 19. So these are the survey. More girls suffer anxiety, depression, sleep issues, withdrawing from family, aggressive behavior compared to boys. Why do you think? Girls are affected more with mental health than boys. Why is it that young people have this suicidal thought, severe distress, uh, high level of perceived stress, severe depression, high level of anxiety? Why do you think? They are not yet affected with work. They are not retrenched. They are just at home. Why do you think you are, why? why? Can you share? Sensei Kati may have big gap age different from you. What? Why is it? 
Why do you think young people are really suffering right now, majority, because of the lockdown? Well, I mean, a lot of young people still need to ha are deal. When you're in your teenagers, you already have to deal with anxiety, even without a pandemic. You still have to deal with a whole bunch of crap that. Uh, Can you see clearer, Hagios? That also impacts like people of that age range. So adding the pandemic on top of it means that they have less of a support system and they have less people to engage in conversations with. And especially since the bear, the real life like talking thing is now gone, people can just easily ghost you or people can just easily do whatever they want online uh, without any like repercussions or whatever. Um, and yeah, basically in your teenage years, you're supposed to be socializing a lot. And that's like probably one of the main reasons why it sucks for young people to be in the pandemic. Yeah, thank you, Hagios. Any, anyone, any other who wants to add to what Hagios shared? Why is it that young people are affected so much during this lockdown in their mental health or in their emotion? social media like the influence of social media mm -mm. yeah because right now instead of you socializing physically with your friends you tend to divert to social media and we can see earlier slide that social media too much of it affects your mental health so that's why god is telling us in Proverbs, in his word, guard your heart because it's the wellspring of life. If your heart is not guarded, you are anxious, depressed, so sad with the situation. It affects everything. No? Um, Daniel, JJ, Jan Jan, I want you to turn on your video. I want to see your faces. Diko, miss you. Yeah. So, Hagios, thank you for pointing that out, that uh, teenagers now, uh, they need more of social interaction. And then due to this situation, uh, that is being, what, affected? Is Am I correct in my understanding with what you have answered? Because your sound is soft earlier. Uh, yeah. Mm. Hi, Dave. Okay, so I'm not sure with Dave. Dave is already 20, right? Or 21? Or 19? 18. 18. <laughs> Sorry. <huh? laughs> okay, 18. So you are still teenager. So you assess yourself if you are feeling like that. So... The Lord wants us to be reminded that in our adversity, in our feeling of being anxious due to the changes we are going through, you apply these verses in your life. Can you read, Daniel? Proverbs. Oh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge and he shall direct your path. Continue. Psalms 34, 17. Dave, you can also read. The righteous I am more tears and the love is not to their troubles. Dale, I don't think... Oh, wait, they can't hear you. Never mind. John 16, 3. These things I have spoken to you that in me. You might have peace in the world. You shall have a tribulation, but be okay. So remember, in this world, you will have so many concerns, tribulation, problems, challenges, um, crisis. But remember, God already overcome it. There's nothing in this world that God has not gone through. Okay, Jesus was also tempted in every side, but he was not. He was tempted, but he did not commit sin. Okay? So, remember, greater is he that is inside you, which is 
your which God compared to what's in the world. So whatever trials, you can overcome it with God's help. Amen. Say amen. 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 So, rely on God in adversity. Do you learn something there? Even though you're struggling emotionally, you may not show it, but within you, you acknowledge, Lord, I trust in you with all my heart. I will not overthink. You guide me and make my path straight. God wants the righteous to cry out and God listen and hear you. So take hold of God's promises and everything will be all right. Okay? Do you want more? You say, <laughs> I didn't hear you. Do you want more? Do you want more? Hi, wala man kayo reply. Okay, how are you, Hagios? How are you, Donnelly? How are you? Yeah, can you answer this? How are you, Jeshra? Can you answer me? Fine. You are fine. Can you say more than I fine? Can I ask Dave, how are you, Dave? Adjusting from your high school to becoming a college student? Hello, I'm good. I'm good, Nico. It's You're fine. good. Man. So that's so nice yes. to hear. But if you are struggling on something, mm. it's okay to feel, to share what you feel. Huh? Even though we are not okay, it's okay to share that we are not okay. Because when we share our needs, we will get comforted. Okay, so this is the question I want you to ask yourself and to observe your loved ones if they are overthinking, ba? They are avoiding something. Are you sweating? Having stomach issue? Caleb, are you having panic attack? Do you need? No, I'm just normal. Needing a sure Just touching my heart. Amen, amen. Do you lack patience sometimes? Do you easily get angry? Do you I'm going 15. Yes, Daniel. Trouble concentrating. Do you experience Wait, I'm not mute. constant worrying? Do you have trouble breathing? Hagios, do you have headache? Are you no, it's more headache? just nervousness. Do you experience insomnia, difficulty in sleeping? Do you experience memory issues? So you observe, okay? Do you have these symptoms? Like, is your heart pounding fast? Donna Lee, can you hold your heart, everybody? Is it pounding very fast or normal? Are you having shortness of breath? Are you feeling hot? flushing do you feel dizzy sweating headache dry mouth do you have stomach pain some are just reiterated so psychologically do you experience excessive worrying are you impatient so just observe huh, your feelings do you have difficulty concentrating indecisive meaning can you make decision well do you have good memory so you ask yourself, how is your behavior? Are you exhibiting obsessive compulsive behavior? Like, you know, it's already clean, but you still keep on cleaning or you're doing something uh, repetitive behavior. Are you afraid of something like you have phobia for phobic behavior, avoidance of situations behavior? You try to take risks. No? So life is all about taking risks. Like when you commit mistake, then you learn from it. Then are you distressed in social situation? Are you like 
feeling anxious when you are with people. So you observe. Okay? Now let's move on. Do you still want to know what is the effect to your health? If you are frequently having stress and anxiety, I want you to be the one to read. Huh? Sky, can you read? Uh, what are the how stress and anxiety affects your body or chebar sky are you ready if not uh chebar can you please read uh stress affects our body all parts of our body actually again chebar please read brain brain difficulty concentrating Anxiety, depression, irritability, mood, mind fog, cardiovascular, higher cholesterol, high blood pressure, incre increased risk of heart attack and stroke, joints and muscles, increased inflammation, tension, aches and pains, muscle tightness, immune system, decreased immune function, lowered immune defenses, increased risk of becoming ill, increase in recovery time, skin, hair loss, dull, brittle hair, brittle nails, dry skin, acne, delayed tissue repair, gut, nutrient absorption, diarrhea, constipation, in indigestion, bloating, pain, and discomfort, reproductive system, decreased hormone production, decrease in libido, libido, increase in PMS symptoms. You know, like when women has their menstruation, like it's very painful. So it affects in many areas your sense of doom like you always think not positive panic attack so it affects your central nervous system cardiovascular because you palpitate no your high blood pressure increases then your respiratory your your difficulty breathing that's why breathing exercise is very important can we all do it inhale one two three four exhale Okay, the longer you exhale, the better. Relaxing. Huh? Oh, Caleb, you're not looking here. Excretory and this digestive system. You will have problem like in your metabolism. It's lower like that. So you have loose bowel movement. No, You are constipated because you're stressed, you're anxious. And it affects your immune system because of these stress hormones that is being emitted to you, like the cortisol and the adrenaline, it lowers your immune system. So let's be careful. Try to learn. If you know that you are already stressed, try to unwind. Like how do you unwind? You dance, you exercise, you play sports, you meditate, you do what you love to do. You read your favorite books, you listen to nice music, you journal, what else? We learned that last week, Diva, how to be healed from anger. It's very quite similar also how you can do self-care so that you will not be so uh, focused on your problem but rather focus on God so you will not worry a lot. Okay? So what are the two... This is science. Huh? What are the two stress hormones that releases in your body if you are stressed or anxious? Adrenaline and corti. Oh, nobody's answering. Shansi Kati will not teach Lala. What are the two stress hormones that is being released to your body that is harmful to you, Jeshra? Oi, what happened to my students? Adrenaline and cortisol. cortisol. So this is what Hagio said, no? When you are anxious, there is that flight and fight 
hormones that allows you to to do is your reaction to a situation that is also uh increases your risk of anxiety depression and that so there's many uh, disorder mentioned here if you have prolonged anxiety so be careful if you're anxious get help pray stop and then hopefully you recover fast so it will not lead to disorder this one if you have episode of like dramatic events traumatic events so this can cause you to have this post-traumatic stress disorder and some are obsessive compulsive disorder and associated with that is adhd like that specific learning difficulties anxiety tourette's you know what's tourette's like you have twitching uncontrollable twitching of your eye or some parts of your body sensory integration issues so some are diagnosed with this are called special child so maybe their childhood experience or when it could be also genetic it could be also environmental it could also be the traumatic experience a child or adult have gone through that is associated with ocd i hope that's uh, something of value to you so knowing that if you know someone has problem with that may you apply god's word no can i ask donnelly to read james one i forgot to edit james one two to four not eleven huh i put two ones Sige. donnelly please read my brothers <laughs> My brothers, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this to the trying of your faith works patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you pick an entire one thing, nothing. Continue, First Corinthians 10, 13. Jeshra, you continue. God is faithful. God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above your are able, but the text, the temptation also make the way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Romans 12, 12. Continue, Joshua. Rejoicing in hope, patient in terrible continuing you win instant in prayer. Last. And, and hope. our hope of you is stand fast, knowing fast. As, that as you are partakers of the suffering so shall you be also the consolation yes so i hope you don't take your suffering if you god may allow you to go through some suffering why i did not i was not born to a wealthy family or why my family is not like other family that no problem why we have a lot of problems why i have a, a a brother or a sister with special kids why my brother is so polite why my parents is so strict why my parents are like this uh so don't complain it's try to take like all these trials that you're experiencing are blessing in this guys blessing of god to you so that you will be better in your character like that. So, Daniel, Hagios, I need you to on your video. So, I think these are some of the things that I want you to, to know that there is what you call anxiety, the normal one, like you can just recover it right away after crying, after praying. But there are anxiety disorder that it may take months, weeks before you get feeling better. So I hope you will apply all this that is in front of you. 
you try to shake, get some sun. I want to emphasize this, huh? Because not enough exposure to sunlight in children affects your growth and development of the eye vision. If you want you have a good eyesight, you also need to expose yourself in the sun. But don't look up the sun. Huh? It's harmful to your eyes. But you need exposure to the sun because it also gives you vitamin. What vitamin is that? D. Very good. So exercise, deep breath, sleep. Okay, create your own space. Welcome humor, balance your thoughts. Identify what makes you sad or anxious and share with family members. So these are things that you can apply. Uh, please read JJ. Is JJ there? Dave? All of it. Okay, please read all of this. When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. An anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Say to those who have be strong. Behold, your God will come with vengeance with the recompose, recompense of God. He will come and save you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its Okay, very good. So it's not God's will for you to be anxious. Diba? God's, God's will for you is that whatever you're feeling, he doesn't want you to worry about tomorrow. He wants you to not put vengeance in your hand. Let God save you, deliver you, and don't let your heart be so sad. No, That's why when we know someone is sad, what will you do? Give a kind word to cheer him up. Can you do that? If you see your brother, sister crying, sad, you give comfort. If your parents is stressed, you hug your parents, okay? So this is how you make them feel better. Hug them, breathing exercise, you laugh together, go for a walk after dinner like that, stay positive, do what you love, you exercise, you meditate, yeah, you do something crazy. <laughs> then you accept that you cannot change everything. You are not in control. You choose your friend wisely. If you are stressed, make your stress your teacher. Make stress your friend. No, Because whether you like it or not, in this world, we all face a stressful situation. We just need to accept stress as our friend not something the enemy decision make decision because godly good leaders makes decision organize yourself make your table clean your home clean start small don't procrastinate accomplish things one step at a time okay okay there's more okay uh who else haven't read dave please read dave is Dave there? Hi, huh, here, Dave. Danica. Okay, Caleb. I want you to read again. Corinthians seven thirty-one. Okay, Dave. Danica, where's Danica? Yeah, he's gone. Okay, continue, Dave. Uh, for this world and its present form is possible. Yes. Continue. I'd like will... you to be free from concern. Now. I think your Wi-Fi connection is not good. Um, it's okay. Uh, who else can read along with Anya Dave? Uh, Caleb, Caleb, are you listening? So remember that you can do all things through who through Christ, no? Who strengthens you? So if you share in His trouble, it's okay, no? God will help you overcome your troubles, your concern. 
We are not obeying God's command if we are continuously being anxious. Okay? So, you are not alone if you feel anxious because there are many in the Bible also who feel anxious. And remember, you eat healthy food, no? Eat and avoid food that will naturally also can lead you to uh, be anxious. So, lessen your sugar, all this. Who wants to read this one? Donnelly? Lauren, please read everything. Matthew 6, 27. Matthew 6, 27. And which of you by being anxious can add a single hour to a span of life? Psalm 55, 22. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never suffer the righteous to be moved. Philippians 4, chapter, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Yeah. By the way, happy birthday, Lauren. No, I see in your Facebook, no? It's just a few days ago. It was your birthday. How old are you now, Lauren? Ten. Ten years old. Okay, so I hope let's apply, no? Everyone, rejoice in the Lord always. And a cheerful heart is a good medicine. So let not have any place for sadness or anxiousness in a heart. Replace it with joy. Even you are suffering, you count it all joy when you face various trials. Okay? So I think that's enough. You can screenshot this one if you like to know more about how you can... Uh, improve and not being anxious okay and then you know that even martha in the bible was too busy with many work she also feel worried with so many things but god wants us to be to spend time with him no like mary who have chosen the better part you know queen esther he was married to King Cyrus ba? I forgot naman oi. So, there was a law that passed, that was passed by Haman that all the Jews will be killed. So, that's why Esther was also very sad or anxious. That's why she prayed and she asked all the people to pray and fast. And God delivered all of them. Esther was able to convince and request to her husband and then they were spared from being dead or killed and you know elijah right elijah was also very courageous prophet of god but he also got tired scared and depressed and wanting to die but if you feel tired you just like Elijah, no? He rested and slept for a while and God comforted him. And he was not killed by King Ahab and Jezreel, who was very fierce, no? They worship idol. But, you know, Elijah was very strong. He experienced supernatural power of God. That he even prayed for three years, no rain. There was famine because they are worshiping idols. And he called... God to send fire from heaven to prove that his God is real God. But even though how strong we are spiritually, we are not exempted sometimes. If we are not careful, we will also sometimes get depressed, no? even Elijah. So just rest and sleep, take your time, and then you will be okay no? in God's time. Even Jesus, no, when he knew that he would be about to be crucified, he was also worried, no? My soul is sorrowful even to death. That's why he said to himself and to his disciple, please pray with me. Watch with me. Remain in me. So if you are struggling, you ask your friend, your family to pray for you. So, of course, Jesus, if possible, he wants a not painful death. But he said, not my will, but your will. Of course, we all want to be healed from our sickness. 
but let God's will be done. We pray, but God's will be done. Okay? Then, you know Job? Diba Job has many trials? Satan said to God, no, he was faithful because he is blessed by you. But honestly, even Satan tried to afflict J Jacob. Yeah, so almost done. Thank you, Hesed Agios, for reminding me with time. So even how faithful Jacob was, he also got anxious, no? He also tried to say that sana... Um, I was not born na lang because he suffered so much. No, he lost his family, all his his riches and wealth, but because he remained faithful until the end when God showed him his creation, how limited his thinking was, then he regained back his riches two more times and children he was blessed. So, I close with this before we close in prayer. Do you see this one? I want you to listen to her song. She also go through many trials. So, he composed a song entitled, It's Okay. I moved to California in the summertime. I changed my name thinking that it would change my mind. Because singers come on, and, and I and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising to you. It was powerful. It was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy.
There are, however, there have been some great singers this year. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. Sometimes we go through so much pain in life, but let God just make a choice to apply what you learn and by faith you will be victorious. It's our choice. Make decision to be happy. Yeah. Don't wait for your life to be what? Good for you to be happy. Surrender your life to God and also the things you cannot control. Let God take care of you. He can handle whatever anxiety we have in life. So let me close with this. Hagios, please read. This is our closing verse and then we pray. Sorry for the, for the overtime. Hagios, are you there? Oh, Hagios is not there. Maybe uh, Caleb, please read. Philippians 4, 5. Let your reason reasonable reasonableness be known to everyone the lord is at hand do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all your understanding will guard your heart and your mind in christ jesus do you want to close in prayer caleb okay lord thank you so much for this beautiful sunday afternoon sorry for the overtime but i hope our lesson today uh we learn a lot and help us to overcome and be victorious over our anxiety forgive us lord for our sins we love you and we pray for night bird birdie <laughs> night birdie that she will be healed from her cancer i know it's too impossible to request but nothing is impossible with you that may you use her mightily to to be an encouragement to many during this time that many people are anxious in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. hi sky Adios, we miss you. Did you see your picture at the end? Yes. So, love you. See you next Sunday, 5 p.m. Um, you invite your friends. So beautiful, Chebar. Take care, huh? <laughs> okay. See you next Sunday. See you next Sunday, Caleb. See you next Sunday. Bye. 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 Enjoy.